Hello, this is Aaron, and welcome to another tutorial for your shopping cart system. I'm going to show you a few different options you now have with your shopping cart. The first one here is short codes. So once you are actually in either a page or if you have a blog, you can do a post. And these short codes allow you to add elements from your shopping cart system into an article. Generally, you would use this if you wanted to put a product right within a article or a page. Uh, just another way to feature products. Instead of a user having to go over to the shopping cart to see everything, you can put certain featured items within page description like or blog posts. Say you're featuring a new item or a sale item. You can put that product directly into the article and they can purchase it from there or link over to the cart. In your instruction manual, there's a list of all the short codes and a little more explanation. But um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to come into an article or post. And you'll come up here and you'll see this little kind of maroon box here. You'll click on that. And that will give you the different short codes. Uh, you have these four here are kind of inserting. These first three are inserting products. This one allows you to s insert a whole category. This one allows you to do recent products you've set as featured. Move commerce pages. You don't really need to worry about this. This has already been set up for you. This just designates which page is which one of these. So uh, generally, you can just ignore this last option here. So we're going to do say product price cart button and product by SKU. So I've already so you click that and it'll insert this short code. You see that just popped in here um, wherever my cursor is. So you can uh, move that around if you need to. Um, I'm going to drag it up here. You can move it above things, below, to the side, etc. Now designate, designate which you can either use the ID number or the SKU number if you're using SKUs. Uh, so if you're using SKUs, you would just go under your product description over in the shopping cart and get the SKU number or a product ID. The easiest way to do that is to see your list of products and move over your mouse over one. You'll see here the ID number. This one's 174, 226, 126, 124. So basically you would copy that number. I'm going to just use the ID number. So that was uh, 124. And then I'm not using the SKU, so I'm going to delete that and make sure you have the full bracket there. You need this entire code set up there for the product to show. If any piece of this, you know, the brackets, the quotes, the equal sign is missing, it won't work. So this is a little piece of code that tells the uh, website to put the particular product there. So this one is just going to show the product. Uh, this one down here, Add to Cart, actually puts an Add to Cart button. Um, so you can put these in and play with them and see what they look like as well as check the manual for further description. Um, if you do the category you'll see um, a whole category listing. Now if you do the recent products you'll get some additional options how many you want to show, columns, you can sort it by, uh, date or description. Um, again there's more, just more details and options in your instruction manual. Uh, so basically we just insert the short code, make any adjustments within the quotes. You, anything outside the quotes you don't want to change, just within the quotes. And then you would simply update the page and uh, whatever you put in will display on your page. And we're going to show you the, t the uh, categories for your store. So you come over to the side menu, hit on categories or, or store categories. These are separate from blog categories if you have a blog. Uh, these categories are strictly for your products. So you can see I already have these uh, five kind of demo categories I created. Uh, it works very similar to a blog category if you're used to using that already. Uh, you would simply come in and say um, we're going to do CDs. The name of the category. The slug is the URL version, so I'm just going to leave it as blank so it'll use CDs. I can give it a parent, so I'm going to put it under items. That's just optional. This will now appear under as a subcategory under the items. And a description you can put in here. It may or may not display on your website, depends how things are set up, but generally not. 
you can also add a thumbnail image um, this generally will show up on your shop page that shows all your categories I'm just going to leave it blank but uh, you would use the same kind of image uploader as you're familiar with in the uh, rest of the website and add new category down at the bottom and you'll see it'll pop up here it's under items as a sub item and you can do the quick edit to change it if you need to or the regular edit to get the uh, full options and you can also put in SEO stuff here which is great title description uh, conical you can leave blank and change the picture if you need to alright moving along to product tags these again work similar to, to blog tags if you're familiar with that basically sort of keywords a way to organize um, labels for your different products so you can see I've already got some set up here so if someone sees the tags uh, oil and they click on that it can show them any other products that I also have with the tag oil so just another way to navigate through your shop simply add the name I'm going to do CDs leave that blank and then add the tag and it'll show up in my list of tags and when I'm going to uh, create an item or edit an item the, the tag CDs will be there and I can just add it on to that particular product. Another feature I'm going to show you is how to set an item as a featured item. So you'd go under products and you come over here and you see this row here with these stars, the purple stars. The items with the purple star are currently featured and what this means is the that short code that you saw earlier that allows featured items will show these particular items depending on your website setup there might be some other areas where it can be displayed but simply click on one of these to turn it to featured or simply click on the purple one and unfeature it if you'd like so I just featured uh, the blue diamond there I think and it's now featured showing the purple star Another option I'm going to show you is your reports. So over on the sidebar you should see the button for reports. You'll click that and it'll show you basically your reports. Uh, as you can see I don't have any orders yet on my demo store. Um, but uh, general information here and then you can go sales by day. And up here you can uh, change your date range to give you more specifics if you'd like same thing with sales by month you can choose the year and it'll show you the sales uh, obviously it's kind of empty now because I don't have any sales but hopefully yours will be full of stuff here uh, product sales top sellers top earners so just to give you a variety of details to help you see how your store is doing. Customers, see you, your total number of customers. Guest sales, these are people that have not registered. Custom orders, guest orders, average order customer. And then stock, if you're using the stock option uh, to keep track of your inventory. This will kind of give you an idea of where you're at, what's low, what's out of stock to help you track that. We're going to do coupons. And there's a couple options here to designate coupons. So basically, you'd come in here and you would see a list of all the coupons you've created. I've not done any yet, so we're going to set up a new one. I'm going to hit Add Coupon at the top here. And you'll see this nice coupon options here. Um, there are SEO options here, but uh, really do not need them for a coupon. Um, so there's different options here, and there's a little more explanation in your instruction manual as to the different options. Um, you can do a discount for the cart, a percentage amount, a discount on a particular product, or a percentage discount on a particular product. So I'll do a full cart discount. And so if you're just doing the, the discount, it's a certain dollar amount. So I'm going to say... Uh, $10 off 
and there's some options here individual use it's all explained check if you want this to be cannot be used with other coupons so I'm going to check that if you want to apply before tax uh, if you want to enable free shipping uh, if there's a minimal amount that needs to be purchased to be able to use this coupon so you might want like purchase fifty dollars and get a you know ten dollars off of this coupon uh, products you can use it for on certain products or exclude certain ones so um, I don't want it to work on my magic lamp let me start over here magic lamp I believe that's there it is that's the uh, product so I don't want the coupon to be available for this particular item um, if you're using the uh, product discount you can search here for which ones you do want it available you can even do categories too product categories ones you don't want uses the limit limit how many times you want it to be able to use so you know if you're just giving this coupon to one particular customer you would just say one so nobody else uses it um, if you don't care you can leave a blank if you have a limit you can set you know first hundred people etc and then an expiration date if you'd like to they can use it up until the 31st and simply publish and then let's see I forgot to put a name here uh, $10 off update And then once it's done, I'm going to go back to my coupon list. And I'll see it's there, card discount. So up here, the title, this is the actual code that will be people will put in when they check out so I'm going to change that to 10 off uh, this can be any string of letters and numbers although I usually try to do something that makes sense and is fairly easy but uh, not so easy anybody can guess it and put it in there uh, so I'm going to do $10 off so when they check out they'll have the option to enter a coupon code and they would put that in there uh, this is great if you're sending out newsletters uh, you can say you know free shipping ten dollars off fifteen dollars off particular new product or during the holidays to uh, promote a special item so those are some uh, basic additional options for your shopping cart hope you enjoy and thank you so much